Kalt eh, heute so da und die Brotte. Hello and welcome to part 6 of the small nappy course. Today we will talk about negation, so how to put sentences like I don't eat or I never eat. In principle everything that has something negative in it, so the action is negated. Simple negation actually is very easy. We use the small particle que for that, which can be translated as not in English. Let's look at some simple sentences in English. The ekran flies and then the ekran doesn't fly. That's a negated sentence. I see the fish, I do not see the fish. I clean the house, I don't clean the house. In Natvi, they become this. So you should already be familiar with the simple non-negated sentences. So the ekran flies, ekran zweion. To negate the sentence, I just put the ke in front of the verb, so in this case the zweion, as zweion is the verb, to fly. So ikran zweion becomes ikran ke zweion. The same happens for the other sentences. I see the fish, bayon di ce a well. I don't see the fish, bayon di ke ce a well. And oi kelkuru laro si, I clean the house. Oi kelkuru laro kesi. Now you might be wondering why is it laro kesi instead of ke laro si, since laro si is the verb to clean. But if you watched part I think three about the ru ending and also watched the part about the si verbs, you might may know that in si verbs the si actually is the verb part, while the thing before the si is usually a noun or an adjective. So in this case, laro si is built from laro, which is an adjective, clean, and C, which turns it into a verb. And since the C is the verb part, the negation particle ke goes before the C and not before the laro. This happens with all C verbs. So just add a K in front of the verb, or in this case of C verbs in front of the C, as it is the verb part, and you have a negated sentence. But of course, it can get a bit more complicated. Modal verbs are stuff like I can fly, I want to fly, I try to fly. So basically you have constructions with two verbs and in the first verb is the modal verb and the second one is just yeah, the second verb. In this case, the ikran can fly, can is the modal verb and fly is just the second verb that is influenced by the can. So in Navi, this is built with an if infix, so you see zweion became zweion. But let's ignore this for now, because now we are looking at the negation here. So the base sentence, the ikran can fly, would be ikran zun zweion. In English, we would always put the negation in front of everything, like I can't fly, or like it would be connected to the can. It can fly, it cannot fly, and they basically are ambiguous a bit, because it can be both. It doesn't have the ability to fly, so the can is negated, it cannot fly. Or it could also mean it cannot do it can do the thing which is not flying. So the flying is negated. I can do the thing which is not flying. In English we have to do it with intonation or context, and also the second meaning of course is far rarer than the first. Usually it's just you just mean it doesn't have the ability. But in that way we can actually distinguish these two meanings. So we can say ikran so it doesn't have the ability to fly, it geht soon, it cannot. But we can also say ikran soon geht so the ikran can or has the ability to, the, to do the, the thing which is not flying. So with models, the k can go before both the model and the second verb, depending on the meaning, which is, I think, a striking difference from English that is worth being noticed. Double negation, everyone's favorite topic when it comes to negation in Navi. But it's, e uh, it's kind of easy, easy to grasp once you got the hang of it. What do I mean with that? If you have another negative word, then you still need to negate the verb in Navi. In English we don't do that. Might be a bit confusing what I mean, but look at these words. Keu, nothing. Kekem, no action. Kaugrr, never. Gao du, no one. Gea, no, or Gao Zeng, nowhere. In English, 
we don't we don't negate the verb. So for example, the ikan never flies. The never already uh, has the negation meaning. So I don't say the ikan does not never fly. That would mean something else. We say the ikan never flies. In that way, we have to double negate this. So we have to say ikan ke zweiung kau grr. So even though we have the never in the sentence, the kau grr, we still need to put the ke in front of the verb. The same for the next sentence. No one is here. Gautul fitzengti ke dog. Gautu is no one. Gautul then gets the L ending because dog is transitive. But even though we have the no one in the sentence, we still have to negate the verb. So gautul fitzengti ke dog. And there is even more about double negation. Here are two more words for you that also cause double negation. No grr literally means longer. And gau eat means not at all. Why do I show these separately? These two are a bit special because they have to be at the end of a sentence. So here are some more English sentences. And here's what they become in Nabi. So the ikran doesn't fly any longer. Here double negation also makes sense. Because no grr itself, of course, is not negative. So here it's actually more like a normal negation. So if you want to say that someone doesn't happen any longer, you negate the sentence, so you put the ke in front of a verb, in this case ikran ke zweion, and then you add the no grr at the end. So ikran ke zweion no grr. The ikran doesn't fly any longer. Same goes for the kau eat, not at all. Here we again need double negation. So you see we have the kau eat at the end and the ke in front of the zweion. So ikran ke zweion kau eat. The ikran doesn't fly at all. Doesn't really make sense, but I wanted to keep the same examples here. And then there are some more examples of what we had in the slide before with the other words. So, I have no arrow. Again, we need double negation. Ge du wero, to me there is not. Ge as without, no arrow. No one ever reads this book. This is, I think, a very interesting sentence in English and in Natvi, because in Natvi we have three negations. We have kau dul, no one, kau grr, never, ge inan, not read, fibukit, this book. In English we only have one, no one, and then ever reads this book, so we don't say no one never does not read the book. The never changes into ever. If I would say, I never read this book, there I need the never. But here, because there is already a negation, we only use the ever, because only one negation in English. But in that way, we need all three negations. Because what the sentence actually is saying, that no one reads the book, that it is not read, and it also happens never. So in that way, we need all three of these. Then he did does nothing. Ke kem ke si bo. This is interesting because we have kem si, which means to do something. And here we replace basically the kem from kem si with ke kem, so the negative version of it, but also negate the si. So he does nothing. Ke kem ke si bo. And I see him nowhere. Bo ti ke ce a we kao zeng. I don't see him anywhere, so I don't see him nowhere, basically. And double negation, one last time, I promise you this is the last thing you will hear about it. There are also some very rare instances where the K can go in front of something else than a verb. And these you will see here. You, you can use it together with Li, it means already, and then combination K Li, then means not already, so actually in English not yet. And also, you can use it in front of the prefix Fra, every, to mean not every. Let's look at this in practice. Here are some English sentences, and here's the Nabi. The first one should be pretty straightforward. I haven't eaten yet. Ge li, ge yulom oe. Again, double negation. Ge li, not yet. Ge yulom, not eaten. So both needs to be neg negated. She hasn't seen him yet. Exactly the same scheme. Boanti, ke zu le a, ge li, boel. The next one is a bit more interesting. If I want to say that no one understands it, I can either say Gautul zat ke zlam. So Gautul, no one, zat, dead, ke zlam, not understand. But I could also in principle say Frapo zat ke zlam. So everyone does not understand it. 
which then basically means no one understands it. If I now want to say that not everyone understands it, I can actually put the K in, in front of the frapo. K frapo, K zamza, because there's this exception that K can go in front of a fra prefix. And I can do this with every noun that is built with fra. So for example, I can also say K fra yoang, so not every animal. And this really works with every noun that is modified by fra. One last thing, negative comments. So to negate a comment, use re instead of ke. So for example, here is a normal sentence in normal negation. Nga yom, you eat. Nga ke yom, you don't eat. If I now use a comment, I would say yom, eat. And if I then want to negate it, so prohibit it basically, re e yom, don't eat. So you see, while in the first set we need the ke, because it's a normal sentence, in the second one we need re e, because it's a prohibitive. So we say you're not allowed to eat, don't eat. It's a comment here. And re e can also go after the verb to intensify it. So if I say yom re e, that would be like don't eat, like really intensifies the comment here. And that was it for today. Let's look at some key points. K can be used in front of a verb to negate a sentence. You still need K even if another negative word is used. No gr and cow eat can also be used to uh, build special negated sentences like don't do something any longer and don't do something at all. And they always go at the end of a sentence. K li, not yet, and K fra, not every noun. So these are two special constructions where you can use K in front of something else than a verb. Uh, please keep in mind that with these two you still need to negate the verb additionally, because double negation or triple negation if you're fancy enough and want multiple ne uh, negative words in there. And lastly, if you have a comment, so a prohibitive, then you use re -e instead of ke to negate it. And that was it for today. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments or contact me on Discord. I'm also active in both Natvi learning communities, mostly in Keltra, but you can also find me in, on the Natvi in the Discord server. So also feel free to tag me there if you find any mistakes or have anything to say about my videos. Hi, Yellowy.